Hey, hey, hey guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today. Check it out guys, back again on Kineticraft and we are getting our sweet survival build on yet again, that's right. <laughs> and guys, today we are accompanied again by the one and only Elsie, that's right. <laughs> I guess this is becoming a thing now, I don't know, who knows. <laughs> and today we are doing some terraforming, that's right, as well as building a really cool and overgrown path to one of his builds that, yeah, he will hopefully finish in future episodes. Are you excited? Cause trust me, I am. So how about we get this time lapse started? Alright guys, so let's get started. Like I said in the introduction, we are focusing on some terraforming today, that's right. Elsie has started this really cool castle build a few days ago, however there isn't really a clear pathway which leads to that build right now. So yeah, I guess that is what we are doing today. <laughs> we started off with moving back the small mountain ridge which was in the way, and yeah, we will turn this later into this really cool overhang with, you know, the leaves and waterfalls and all of that natural stuff that makes a build look amazing, I guess. <laughs> I have to say it was actually Elsie's idea, and the idea behind it was to make it resemble the type of erosion which you usually find at beaches or at cliffs, when waves keep hitting some cliff face for a very long time I guess, and what is left you get these really cool grottos I think they're called, where the stone is basically just eroded away and you get this really cool overhang hanging over the water. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think one of you will let me know in the comment section what those things are called. <laughs> but yeah, that is what is happening now. And to add a bit of detail as well, we added this really cool stone archway in the middle of the pathway, which players can then walk through. And yeah, it just adds some of the detail that makes this build look awesome, I guess. I think this is one of the projects where we where we really just get lost in the detail of the build. And yeah, I think the strength of the build also just lies in just admiring the build from different angles while walking through it in survival. And yeah, I just have to say it again, guys. Like every episode, I really am enjoying this right now. Rather than the huge creative builds which look great while you're flying over them, but in the end, I just think they lack the detail when you want to get down and personal with the build, I guess. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, another survival time lapse. I hope you are enjoying them, which I really am. However, that actually leaves me with a question for you guys. Do you want us to continue with these Kineticraft time lapses? Or perhaps move on to different types of creative builds? Who knows? Leave your feedback in the comment section, guys. Like I said, I am really enjoying these builds. But I think in the end of the day, you are the viewers. And yeah, if you really want to see something else, we can focus on other things as well. Who knows? We'll see what happens in the future. Anyways, I think that is going to be it from me. I'll keep the commentary a little shorter this time because I've got a lot to do around here still. So yeah, I guess it is time for you to sit back, relax, and... Enjoy the rest of the time lapse. 